Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Willie from SwartyPanda.com. Uh, sorry, I haven't uh, been making a lot of um, content lately. Uh, the markets aren't like that exciting, um, so I was trying to like you know think of ideas to like uh, maybe help others. And um, I, I finally got assigned on one of my micro strategy uh, put options. So I was I was short uh, one uh, one put. Uh, at the 530 strike and because of Bitcoin's recent um, uh, correction uh, I was finally assigned a micro strategy because because micro strategy has so much Bitcoin on its balance sheet that is basically at this point for every 100 shares you're basically long like 90 percent like like Bitcoin so anyway uh, so I wanted to go over uh, uh, some of the options that you have, or or, or sh I should say, um, uh, choices that you have if you ever get assigned on a on a put option on Tastyworks if you're on portfolio margin. Um, I know for some people, um, and I actually don't recommend it. Uh, some people like to, um, I guess, like get full use of the portfolio margin, meaning they they go to the limit. Uh, you know, for certain stocks, um, some people like to, because you're getting, um, uh, potentially be able to buy more stock than what your, uh, than what your cash is able to buy. Um, you have a lot more buying power. So people like to kind of, unfortunately, they like to abuse it. Um, because I, I think a lot of people right now, like they're kind of like in this, like get rich quick mentality and it's actually very harmful and I think that's why like the markets and and not just the stock market but like the digital asset market as well like they're they're so volatile because a lot of people are getting liquidated so I actually um, caution people to to th really think hard before you you know you you go into like these crazy like YOLO trades um, I think I think it's much better, in my opinion, to to um, to maybe think long and hard before you engage in these type of like really speculative um, trades. Uh, so you know, I know for myself, um, in the past when I was younger, like I I did all types of crazy stuff. So I'm glad I got that out of my system. Um, because it really takes a lot of, uh, it really takes a lot out of you when you are on the on the on the wrong end of a losing trade, um, and it, and you know psychology is an important part of trading, uh, especially if you want to do this um, long term or as a career. Uh, so I just want to again, I want to caution you um, if you're already using margin or a any type of margin. Um, uh, whether you're using options or you're using uh, other derivatives or you're using um, a margin account or a portfolio margin account, you know, please, please, please um, be very careful because if you get liquidated, it's going to take a long time, if at all, for you to come back. Um, and especially now since, like, you know, um, I don't know what your job or money situation is, but it, it's, it, it's, you know, it, it's tough to, to come back after after a series of losses. So, um, okay, let me stop preaching here, and let's just get to the like the um, the point of the video. Uh, so, let's say you 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 had a stock like f in my case, um, uh, micro strategy. I've already been assigned, as you can see uh, over here, like it, towards the middle. Like I already had a like a hundred shares um, put to me. Um, so I have a few choices that are available. Um, either I can just, since I sold at the 530 strike, if I wanted to to just say the hell with it and I want to just uh, sell it at a loss so I can maybe use it to off, offset like some, um, some gains in other places for like tax purposes. Maybe I want to um, like minimize some of the like the tax liabilities for later on. I, I could do that. That's like the first choice. And that would take me out of, that would cause me to take a tax, um, or actually a, a capital gains loss uh, short term of, of about $4,500. Uh, 
Um, but I don't really feel like that. Um, because I, I I think Michael's strategy still has a lot more uh, room to grow. Uh, I think this is just a temporary blip. Um, there's a lot of uh, a regulatory and um, like the CEO of Tesla is like kind of saying some negative things about Bitcoin and that's causing the whole space to 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 take a hit. But I think it's just temporary. Um, but you know I could be wrong, and that's why like I decided to hedge myself, which brings me to the second choice where I can actually short. Uh, a call option against it. So, in the meantime, I, I sold a 610 uh, call option. Um, so that's my second choice. Where I'm, well, at least as of right now, I'm up on this position because maybe uh, Bitcoin and MicroStrategy might just like flop around for a bit, and in the meantime, I can collect some ex extra premium. Um, into my account, so I sl originally sold this call for around uh, $2,000, so if I, if I decide to, to follow the tasty trade mechanics, um, I'll, I'll be happy to take half of this, so that, that'll be like a thousand bucks that I can use to offset any losses, or just to bring in like some cash while I wait for the trade to work out in my favor. Or I can just like do nothing, um, uh, I, I could have just like done nothing and just wait for, to see if maybe I can even um, double down on the position and short a put, another put against it. But I already, since I already have a um, another call option over here, um, that's out of the money, uh, unfortunately. But this is a this sleep over here, this January two thousand twenty three six hundred call. Yeah, you know, it, it's really hurting. Um, I'm down like. 13,000, so it's like, um, it's kind of painful right now, uh, but again, like, like if you look, look at, I have 593 days, so that's like, I have plenty of room to, um, get out, um, I, ideally, I would like to get out of this position at a profit, um, sometime in the year 2022, because that's probably when there might be another, um, bear market in the digital asset space, again, I could, I could be wrong, um, and you know, I can actually sell an an additional uh, uh, call option and turn this position, this this sleep, into a into a diagonal. So I could sell another um, six hundred ten, six hundred twenty uh, call option, and turn it turn this into a diagonal. Um, and then because like I'm on a portfolio margin account, uh, there's one thing I want to. Um, bring to your attention. So let me just um, share a the spreadsheet that I that I pulled up earlier. Uh, so what you can do, um, you can hit the uh, this capital requirement uh, button over here, and it'll bring you up like your um, you know like uh, what you need in order to maintain like these positions, or you can hit the CSV. Um, button over here and it'll bring it up in a spreadsheet, which is what I'm going to uh, share with you right now. Uh, just to show um, some of the things that are that are available to you. Uh, so, because like, I don't want people to panic and just like get out of their positions needlessly. So let me just share the spreadsheet real quick. And as you can see on the screen, um, maybe I'll, I'll also highlight it so it's easier for you guys to see. So, like, I have a bunch of positions here, but let's let's highlight the the MSTR because um, I think that'll be helpful for some people. And let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger, uh, but maybe not too big, because I want people to see um, what I'm what I'm thinking and what I'm uh, going through right now. Right now. So right now, um, the buying power effect for this whole position is thirty one thousand dollars so that means i have to have at, at the very least uh 30 i have to hold um thirty one thousand dollars 250 and 44 cents to um to maintain my positions um and the thing to to always keep in mind is the is the maintenance uh so right now the uh the, mis the initial requirement um is the same but 
if Michael's strategy, uh, you know, tanks even more because, uh, you know, you know, and I, and I hope Michael Seller like a, look a long and, and happy life. But you know, what if like something happens to him? Uh, you know, Michael's strategy could potentially take, take a huge like leap off a cliff, and that could potentially cause this maintenance position to um expand. So this is one. Uh, one column that you should always, always like keep at the back of your mind, especially if you're really, um, you know, you're 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 really uh, taking advantage of portfolio margin, where like you're you're in over your head. Um, so like one one way to kind of like to gauge your position is um, I'm gonna ignore the the uh the the short call right here just for the moment um this number here is just a calculation that i did uh, beforehand because i wanted to get an estimate of what the the position could could realistically cost um so again this 600 call like all the way out in like january 2023 this could potentially cost me up to sixty thousand dollars because uh uh, maybe in January 2023, like maybe I'm not paying attention and then um, uh, the the position is in the money, then this would potentially cost me up to like $60,000 because this is what I was willing to pay for for MicroStrategy out in like 2023 because I'm, I'm thinking that uh, MicroStrategy by then will be worth a lot more and I'm, I'm willing to take that risk to, to get the difference between what the, what the future potential value of micro strategy is and the I'm willing to put up like some money to to um, to stay in that position um, and then also uh, like the current price of micro strategy is about um, you know 48 484 67 so multiply by by 100 and that gives you 48,000. 467 and I just added those up just to see what like my my potential um, cost of, of micro strategy at the moment is is a uh, is actually I have technically a uh, hundred eight thousand dollars four hundred sixty seven dollars worth of uh, micro strategy on a theoretical basis and the beauty of my of uh, having a portfolio margin is I don't have to actually put up like this full amount, um, and I just did like the quick math. Um, I'm only putting up like twenty, like twenty eight percent, twenty nine percent of like what the, of what the, of what the real value is, and that's why like the buying power effect is uh, relatively low. And I know like some people like they they get kind of crazy and like they say well oh since i i only have to put up um uh 31,000 what would happen if i buy like if i actually buy like a full like 100 uh like the full position and, like they they level up like they they actually buy like up to like maybe like 300 shares of uh of micro strategy or like the equivalent in like a, a call option so like they they buy more than, than what they should be um but they don't take the time to think like what is my actually potential risk um on the position they they just look at the buying power effect but like you actually have to kind of like do the math and say like what what's your potential um risk here um so that's just like what like a few things to keep in mind first like uh map out like what your potential uh future cost could be and then also um also look at your maintenance uh just to see if like if it like if it's worth for you to hold the position like like for me um i like to have extra cash lying around so i can maybe take advantage of um future dips um and then um, like for example, like this position, if uh, Bitcoin goes all the way down to like, you know, something crazy like twenty thousand or ten thousand, and then MicroStrategy would take a corresponding like, like a big dip. 
you know, I, I could potentially be looking at shorting like um another micro strategy put by at like a lower um strike price to to lower my average cost. Uh, so that's a, another option that I could potentially do. And and also, um, if I wanted to get like really, uh, really crazy, I could also sell like another, um, uh, another like, like cover call, too. So there's a lot of things that 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 I could potentially do in the future, but um, but it really depends on what my outlook is, uh, for the digital asset space and also the stock market in general, um. Because you don't want to, like, overdo it. Because I, you know, the stock market's already pretty, kind of expensive, and then also, like, Bitcoin and other digital assets are also kind of expensive. So I don't want to like, um, like use up too much cash or use up too much buying power at the moment. Um, I I rather like wait for like another if there is like another uh, like a correction, then I can take advantage of like lower prices. So um. I just wanted to share my thought processes and uh, also just like um, keep you guys up to date on like what's happening uh, with myself and then like my training and then also hopefully you guys are also doing well. Um, so if you guys have any questions, please feel free to, to comment um, and then also uh, let me know uh, what else like you would like to see. Um, and then, um, you know, hopefully you guys are doing well and uh, making lots of money. And I hope you continue to do so. So um, if you like this type of content, uh, please consider giving it a like. Uh, maybe sharing, sharing with those other people that also might be um, interested in uh, portfolio margin. Um, and uh, but also like like how to be like careful using it so you don't blow yourself up. Because uh, I want more people to kind of like, you know, stay in the game. And then also more importantly, like actually make money. Um, that's important to me. Um, so, so yeah, uh, please like, share, uh, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Uh, thank you and have a great one.